Remember Wilmington 10 years ago? Barren stretches of land with hardly a business in sight. UNCW students clawing at each other to land the best job in town. Making burritos at Moe's. Wilmington Mayor Bill Sappho desperately trying to find a way to connect the city to the worldwide intranets. Then two things happened to turn everything around. First, Chip Mahan's wife told her husband to get off his ass and get a job. And second, the Coastal Entrepreneur Awards were created. These two seemingly unrelated events had completely changed our region. Today, Live Oak Bank constructs a new building on its campus every other week. And every day, the company starts serving a new vertical. Just last week, the bank began making loans to songwriters, dog walkers, and Bitcoin speculators. Live Oak now employs 99.3% of the local workforce. And it recently purchased ILM Airport just so the company had a place to park all its private planes. Soon after Live Oak Bank got its charter 10 years ago, the Business Journal began taking applications for the Coastal Entrepreneur Awards. Had we known all the characters we'd have to deal with, well, we never would have done it. We met freakers and people claiming to be real tooth fairies. We met women littering our community with pink trash containers and a guy who can't stop talking about breastfeeding. We met a doctor who traded saving lives to go swimming with his phone. A guy who started drinking to support his business habit and a woman who created a business just to give away her profits. We met a former Arena Football League kicker who thought he could build a national business. And a guy with the best football name ever, Dallas Romanowski, who suffered so many head injuries that he thought he was a software developer. A lot of the products they came up with seemed suspect. One guy said he could determine your life expectancy with your headshot. Others started building bikes without pedals and harvesting rainwater. Another masqueraded as a film festival producer just to launch his career as a hair model. Yet something surprising started to happen. Each year when we opened the gates to nominations, new people, new ideas, and new ventures began flooding in. Connections were made. Bets were placed. Products were produced. And this collection of oddballs began to create a community. Gathering places were built. UNCW's Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, Tech Mountain, and most important to support our habit of entrepreneuring under the influence, Ironclad Brewery. We've had success stories and we've seen businesses fold, but what remains is an entrepreneurial community capable of launching fast-growing enterprises. And think about the other major institutions our community has added in the past 10 years. The Convention Center, the Wilson Center, and most importantly, a 24-hour Waffle House within a few blocks of Ironclad Brewery. All this happened because of Chip Mahan and the Coastal Entrepreneur Awards.